Hey, what's up everyone? In this problem, we have to find the Laplace transform of t times the sine of 2t solution. So if we had like e to the t times the sine of 2t, we could use the first translation theorem or the first shifting theorem. But in this case, instead, we have a t. So instead, there's a formula. So whenever you have the Laplace transform of t to a power times something you can take the Laplace of, you can use the following formula to get the answer. It's equal to negative 1 to the n times, and then it's going to be the der nth derivative of big F with respect to s. You might say, what's big F? Big F is the Laplace transform of little f. So to use this formula, you first compute the Laplace transform of little f, and then you just take the derivative however many times you need to do it. So in this case, it's really nice because n is equal to 1. So we only have to take the first derivative, okay? So let's go ahead and start by taking the Laplace transform of little f. So in this case, little f is this. Yeah, maybe I'll write it down here so you see it. So this is the Laplace of t to the 1 times the sine of 2t. And that's equal to, it's equal to negative 1 to the 1, right, using the formula, times, and then it's the first derivative of big F with respect to S, evaluated at S. So we first have to find big F. So big F, big F of S, I'm going to start using cursive S's now, <laughs> is equal to the Laplace of little f. And we said little f was sine 2t. So the Laplace of sine kt is k over s squared plus k squared. So this will be 2 over s squared plus 2 squared, so 4. Again, the Laplace, in case you don't know it, you probably know it. If you're watching this video, you probably have these memorized cold, like just like a pro. <laughs> so k over s squared plus k squared. If you have a hard time memorizing these, just remember cosine has the s up top, and then sine has the k. All right, we have to differentiate this thing. Um, so what we, we can do is we can bring this upstairs. This is 2 parentheses s squared plus 4 to the negative 1. All right, now we'll take the derivative. So f prime of s. So we can use the chain rule, right? We have something to a power, so we bring down the negative. So we get negative 2 parentheses s squared plus 4. Then you subtract 1, right? Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2 times the derivative of the inside. That'll be 2s. 2s times 2 is 4, so you're going to get negative 4s. And you can bring down that second piece. So s squared plus 4, quantity squared. All right, so here we already have a negative. So this, this is df ds. This is df ds evaluated at s using the notation of the formula. So we just have to replace it in here. So negative and negative is positive, so we get 4s over s squared plus 4 quantity squared. And that would be the Laplace transform. So again, whenever you see t to a power times something you can take the Laplace of, um, this is a good route to take. Um, so I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.